I'm wondering if there's ever going to be a time where you don't hear this little guy in the back of my videos. Come on, son. This room needs a massive hoover anyway, so keep doing your thing. I was gonna go and sit in that room and bring you up to speed, but I can't, because he's in there making a racket. But today is the first day that we are home from Iceland. No, Finland is where we went, and it was actually quite difficult getting up this morning. It was a lot of travel in a very short space of time because it literally took a day to get there and a day to get back. So yeah, we were, I had my alarm set for six o'clock, but I definitely allowed myself to sleep in. But I have kind of been itching to get home because it's almost time for my Christmas content to start going out. And I'm super duper excited as well. Um, today's kind of like the first day. I've got a little bit of a come shopping with me video. We're gonna be doing a grand tour, that's what I'm calling it, of um, the HomeSense stores near to where I live. So we're gonna do three different stores in one day and I'm going Christmas shopping. So our trees arrived whilst we were away. I'll show you those quickly. They are underneath the stairs at the moment. We've got three trees. Actually, this is our new TV to go above our new fireplace. Lots of newness in this video. Um, I've also got a wreath in there somewhere and three different trees. I think one of our trees is going to go here um, in the hallway and then one is going to go in the kitchen in the corner. We're gonna have a whip around, change the sofa to this side, put those chairs either side of the Christmas tree in the corner, and there's gonna be a huge nine foot one in here. And then a Christmas tree is gonna be going um, probably in the cinema room as well, because we're probably gonna be spending a lot of time down there. Although we might have to get another tree because I think our, our living room is gonna be finished for Christmas. So we might have to get another one, but we'll get to that point. Um, but today I'm going out to buy all new decorations and all new Christmas stuff for the house to get it super festive. If you guys have watched any of my other Vlogmases, I will link them down below. This is my first Vlogmas in my new house. And for me, this is so exciting. We used to have this, the tiniest little living room at our old house and we used to get the biggest tree that we possibly could and Ali would just let me do whatever I wanted in the house to make it feel festive. Now we've got this amazing house that is just so like in tune with the seasons. Everything around the house just tells you what season it is. So I kind of want to bring that into the house as well. And even though the house isn't finished and we're not gonna be spending like actual Christmas day here, I still want it to be super festive for when we have our friends over. We're probably having a New Year's Eve party. So we're gonna want it to be in tune with the time of year. And um, I've been speaking to my friend Sarah, the lady that's helping me with decorating the house as well. And um, she's been giving me some tips on what to buy and things like that. So um, I've got my little helper. My husband is coming with me today and we are gonna be doing a whole lot of shopping. Like I have been saving my pennies so that I can do as much Christmas shopping as possible today. And I am so excited. I'm also really excited to be working with HomeSense on this as well. If you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I do a lot of come shopping with me's at HomeSense. And for them to want to work with me on this, especially at this time of year, this is my favorite time of year. You'll know this, we got married. So we've also got our wedding anniversary, our first wedding anniversary together. So it's it's gonna be good fun, I'm excited for it. So this whole video is the beginning of the festivities and Christmas with the MGs starts on the 1st of December. That is my version of Vlogmas and how I'm gonna be doing things. Christmas with the MGs starts on the 1st. It's gonna be a good year, I'm excited. I'm gonna try and drag Ali away from his computer because he should be ready and we should actually be gone by now. I'm gonna get my coat on, get some boots on, and then we're gonna get going. Linky, are you guarding the Christmas trees? Lumi was there five minutes ago. Does that mean that you bullied her off? You're a naughty fluff butt. Ali? Yeah, so my dressing room's a bit of a mess. We need to have a tidy up. I haven't even unpacked yet because we did literally get back last night. Where is my new coat? Oh, this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing my Burberry Mac that you saw before I went to Finland. And I'm gonna wear a Burberry scarf, black jeans, and my Chloe boots. That is the outfit of today. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> 
<laughs> you in the Christmas spirit? I was, yeah. You're in the Christmas spirit, babe. Are you excited for Christmas shopping, babe? Uh -huh. I am so excited. Can't wait to get this house all festive. We're going all out today. All out. Please ignore the mess behind me. It's a little bit. Uh, out of control because I just haven't had a chance to sort things out yet, but I will. Tomorrow is organization and, and clean day. But this is the outfit on. This is my new Burberry Mac from Flannels. And I've also got my Burberry scarf on. I've got Paige denim jeans on. That is some rubbish on the floor. <laughs> uh, my Chloe boots, which I just love. And my Prada bag. And basically our intercom system is broken. We have a new one being fitted next week. And whenever it rains, it goes off. <laughs> and I have to keep going downstairs and turning it off and it's driving me mad. Ugh, can't wait for the new one to be fitted because it's been an absolute pain in the bum. But I'm ready to go. So I'm hoping that Ali is ready to go. And uh, yeah. Heated seats are on. You know it's cold when that happens. What's the temperature today? Um, seven degrees. Oh, so it's not that cold. It was four degrees when we were in uh, Lapland. Here in England, I mean, it was four degrees. Yeah. Um, but everything is like, all the trees are falling and it just looks so nice, doesn't it? Trees are falling or leaves are falling? Leaves are falling. <laughs> trees are falling. The trees are falling. <laughs> are you in the festive spirit yet? Not with this track. What is this? It's your, your, <laughs> <laughs> it's your music, it's my, babe. My um, Should we put some Michael Bublé on? Gomez. You've got Selena Gomez on your... It must be on a playlist. Not like that yeah. I've made, like an Apple playlist. <laughs> yes, babe, this is for sure. Closet Selena fan. <laughs> um, right, where is your Apple music? Bottom right. Bottom right. Um, so we want some boobs on, don't we? I like boobs out at Christmas. Michael Bublé Christmas. Oh my God, babe, what is with your clutch control today? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> this is the last video before Vlogmas starts. Oh, cool. Christmas with the MGs. So this is like Vlogmas Eve. We're going to Bedford first. Bedford, yeah. Then we're going to Northampton. Okay. And then we're going to Milton Keynes. Oh. All right, deal. Let's do it. <laughs> Watch out, better not cry. You better not part, I am telling you why. So we finally worked out which home sense we're gonna go to first and we're gonna go to Milton Keynes first, then Bedford and then Northampton and then home. That seems like it's gonna work best. Um, and I'm so, so excited. We've just picked up the bases for our Christmas trees, which I'd ordered last night. So I just needed to go and pick those up quickly as well. Um, but I'm basically on the hunt for all of my Christmas decorations. We're gonna have different themes for the trees. So I think the one in the kitchen is gonna be like a cream and goldy tree. And then the one in the cinema room is gonna have like really beautiful taupe tones in it and then cream as well and then we might have a little bit of color in the one in the hallway so we're going to go for like reds and creams and maybe some gold as well so that's kind of what i'm looking for and sarah's given me some tips on what i need to get so she has like 20 different styles of baubles on her trees so i need to get 60 baubles um, i'm also going to be picking up some organza at some point as well and i'm just going to be looking for things like garlands because obviously we've never had a mantelpiece so i obviously want to have a garland on top of my mantelpiece but we're going to go to home sense and hopefully find all of those things and have a rummage in there i go to home sense probably like once a week I love it because you never ever know what you're gonna find there's so many different brands and you can make savings of up to like 60% on things in there and I just like it because it's not like your usual space like you can take the stuff home that day they have this amazing amazing service where you can like book a van there and then and just take it home which means that you can shop as much as you want which we might need to do actually <laughs> there's always so many like unique gifts to get in there I love checking out like the food sections because you get great biscuits and stuff like that it makes really cool like festive treats as well and I had no idea but home sense is 10 years old and they have over 50 stores so if you want to find out where your nearest home sense is then I'll pop a link in the description box and you'll be able to put in your postcode and find out where that is but today i'm doing the grand home sense tour i'm excited so first up 
we're at Milton Keynes Home Sense store, so we're going to go in and have a look around and do some shopping, which I've been waiting for. Let's go. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. Into wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away. What do you think about these tree choppers? We got them from Home Sense last year, I believe. Yeah, we did, yeah. Should I get another two for the new or should we get different ones? Yeah, did they yeah. Well they sit on okay, not too heavy. Well they're, they're obviously designed for it, aren't they? We've got a fake Christmas tree this year, so Yeah, it should should be okay. Yeah. Perfect. Think about the stars of the trees, they work with all, don't they? The, that silver. This one, yeah. But the silvers, yeah. Look at the little champagne bottle. I know, I thought that was quite cute. <laughs> there are some funny Christmas decorations, aren't there? Yeah. Look at this. <gasps> oh, look at the Elmo. <laughs> I used to love those when I was a kid. Yeah, I think something that's got um, definitely. But over the. Yeah, definitely garden. some sort of like reds and and woody textures. Yeah. Um, I really like the white sort of like snow effect stuff. These ones. I just like the white on the on the bristles. It's, yeah. They look really nice. Did you need to go for something green, or did you want to go for something a little more? Something green. Yeah. Did you want to go for something green, or did you want to go for something a little less? Like a little more subtle. Oh, that's not full enough. Okay. I want something that's quite full. Cool. Yeah. Lydia's on a Christmas tree topper hunt. I am. There's a few there. That looks like our Spudnik. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's Spudnik. Spudnik topper. Dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles. My presents stacked in pies. Take me away. It's like a little treasure hunt for the best food. <laughs> Does it smell Christmassy? Oh yeah. Yeah. Cinnamony. Yeah. Let's get that one. So we just found matchsticks in a bottle. It's kind of like a. Uh, a bottle that you tend out to see with a note in it. <laughs> They're in the basket. In the basket. Go on, say it, you know you want to. It's going straight in my basket. <laughs> Fashion book. The fashion book. This makes such a nice gift. Yeah, it would actually. I bet my cousin would like this. Books on coffee tables are a thing right now. They've still got the Manolo book. I got this one for my office. This is literally in my office right now. A Ferrari book. And a pizza book. <laughs> that looks quite cool, that book. Fashion designer's own. Yeah, it's a good one. Mm. Links will love it then. <laughs> right, we've just finished off at Home Sense in Milton Keynes. No, you've gone the wrong way, babe. Oh no, you're yeah, sorry, you're right, you're right. Ignore me. I'm a backseat. I'll worry about where we're driving. Usually it's you that's the backseat driver, but it's me that's the backseat driver today. Um, I picked up 
a candle which smells so nice. I got loads more decorations. I found some more red um, ones as well. And the good thing was that there was quite a few that were like really discounted because they either had like one missing or something, which was so good because it meant, it meant that I got to pick them up so much cheaper. It was great. Um, I've also got some wrapping paper as well. Um, what else did we get? Ornaments. Oh, we got the toppers for the trees as well. And most importantly, apart from wrapping paper, we got something for the fur babies. Yes, you know me too well. <laughs> We're now pulling up to refuel at Starbucks. We're gonna get some festive food and a festive coffee. coffee and then head on to the next in the Grand Tour. I am very, very hungry. And this smells epic. The old turkey panini. Mm. Got myself a soya toffee nut latte, which is probably gonna Tastes like all of the sugar, but all of the sugar. I don't care. What did I get? Did you say? Oh, I got a um, a, a gingerbread latte, um, full fat milk, no messing about, cream on top. Maybe I can reenact the um, last breakfast that I had in Bora Bora when I ate all of the pancakes, all of the um, French toast, four croissants, and then the last croissant that like, Carrie mm. slowed the edit down. And I was like, <laughs> and literally everyone was like, that last breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that watching people eat is like one of the most unattractive mm -hmm. things. I don't know why I'm filming it. I don't know why I'm filming it. <laughs> It's Christmas, babe. Christmas mm. food. Christmas cheer. Woo! Mm. So I thought it would be easier for me to talk through the items that I bought in each store after each little segment, just to kind of break it down so it's not like a huge barrage of product at the end. So I'm going to show you what I got from HomeSense Milton Keynes first of all. I think that must have been the smallest store out of all of them. And it's actually the one that I got the most from. So I will start off by showing you what I picked up. I got some wrapping paper. They had such a nice wrapping paper. I went for sort of like a brown um, paper bag effect with white polka dots on it. And then I've got really beautiful white ribbon um, that I picked up elsewhere to go with that. I also picked up one roll of this. I could only find one roll of this, but this is just a really cute um, Christmas themed paper. Um, but just really good for like unique wrapping paper i don't really like glittery stuff i like quite simplistic so um it was there's a really good options there in terms of wrapping paper i'm gonna move you around because it might be a bit easier i just apologize i'm at the back of the living room at the moment and um it's all a bit unfinished in here but this is where i'm planning all of my trees and stuff like that and um yeah it's exciting stuff but I got some baubles. So these are some kind of like champagne and white glitter baubles. A little bit of a tree hint there. I've got three trees this year, possibly four. Um, I got those ones, so I bought six of those. I also got some really beautiful white kind of frosted baubles. Can you see those there? These were 4 99 for three, but they're quite big baubles, so it's good. Um, they also had really nice sort of wine coloured red. It's showing up a little bit more red than in person. I don't like bright red when it comes to baubles. I like more of like a winey colour. So this is um, another little sneak peek there. Um, again, I got six in that style. Then I found another style which had four. Um, I got a lot, a lot of baubles. These again are sort of like a champagne and silver coloured bauble i prefer more of a champagne color than i do gold so that was good i then also picked up some tree ornaments these were some little sort of um distressed almost antique glass tree ornaments these were 6.99 for six and i just find the more antique glass look quite um sophisticated and a little bit different so it's without the glitter it's a little bit more sophisticated I think so I got those ones and some slightly larger ones and I got another box of slightly larger ones but it's it's, it's just it's just these again and then I also found the tree toppers so I've got 
a really nice taupe coloured tree, uh, not the actual tree but the theme of the tree. So this is going to go on the top of that one, I really really liked this one, it's almost got like pearlescent, almost it's like shell, but it's not. But it looks, these little bits in between the glittery bits look like pearlescent, it's beautiful. Um, and then I picked up these, which will go on the other tree, I got two of these, these were $9.99 each as well. I also picked up a candle because can you go to HomeSense and not pick up a candle? I think not. So this one is a Hollyberry and Evergreen Coconut Wax Blend. And I really liked this little packaging here. So I really liked the smell of it as well. It's kind of cinnamony, but not like overbearing. Some cinnamon candles, you're like, whoa. <laughs> it's like if you put a teaspoon of cinnamon in your mouth. So that was a really nice find. I didn't actually find any more of this one, unfortunately. So if you see it, pick it up because it's a really nice, subtle fragrance. I have Ali spotted these as well, which I just thought was so cute. We're gonna pop these by our fire. These are some extra large matches in a little bottle. It's got a little cute cork lid to it. And also I did, when I got it home, I was like, wait, hold on a minute. How do you light the matches? Well, that is how you light the matches. You do it on the bottom. So you just hold your finger over the end and it lights. So I thought those were cute and they can sit by our new fireplace. So that's everything that I got in Milton Keynes. Let's head on to Bedford. So we made it to Bedford and this is my first time coming here. It looks massive compared to the other ones, so I want to go inside and have a rummage. Let's go. So this reminds me of Lydia holding a husky, but it's Santa Claus holding a reindeer. Exact same image, exact same pose. Just about to check out, they always get you with leaving yeah. sweets, but in home sense, they leave kitchen towels. <laughs> with the dark centre on, they look quite nice, don't they? Yeah, I think that would look alright as well. Which one, this one? Yeah, that'd look nice, wouldn't it? These ones? Yep, yep. Front ones. You don't get these? I think they're probably going there quite nice. Let's just get some more anyway. So I would probably say that the Bedford store was my favourite out of all of them, but I didn't pick up as much. I felt like I kind of found everything in the first store that I was kind of looking for, but I did pick up this which is brilliant. This is gonna go so well on one of my trees. This is a huge box of kind of like filler baubles. That's what I call them. They're just plain, they're mirrored and they're frosted. And these are just great for really sort of thickening up your tree design kind of thing. Just adding a lot more ornaments and stuff like that to it. So this is a box. It doesn't even tell you how many is in here, to be honest. It just says handcrafted glass made in Poland. I'm guessing that there are 16 in here, unless they've got more inside. No, more than 16, 24. 24 baubles. Well done me and my counting. <laughs> so yeah, those are gonna make great filler baubles for one of my trees. Then I found these amazing decorations. These are some kind of like 3D snowflakes um, they're like beaded ones and then they also did these kind of like hollow baubles So I got some more of those. I also found two of these stars I always like kind of mismatching ornaments on my trees So I got two of these to feed in these just felt really really nice. I liked those I also picked up a little Merry Christmas sign because that can go onto one of the trees And this is what I love about HomeSense as well You can go in there and you could just find anything like we found these for the cats 
We thought seeing as it's coming up to Christmas time, we kind of had to get something for the cats. So we got them some steamed salmon. Five delicious individual servings of tender salmon. Our cats love salmon. And it was by that bit when you're going to the checkout and you're like, I don't need anything else. And then you get down there and you're like, oh my God, I've needed this my whole life. And here it is in the checkout queue of HomeSense. How did they know? How did they know that I needed steamed salmon for my cats? How did they know? Also in the run up to the checkout, they had loads of festive um, tea towels and if there's one thing that my mum noticed the other day is that we don't actually have a lot of tea towels so I picked up some festive ones these are some what looks like mistletoe ones so they've got a little bit of red trim but also nice grey mistletoe so I thought that would go nice in the kitchen then we picked up this one which is kind of like a hessian fabric but with baubles on it and finally this is another kind of like hessian fabric it's got like little cutoffs on it as well and it's got snowflake in tartan and then there's another tartan one behind which is just a plain one but i thought that these would go quite nicely in the kitchen now that it's been decorated so there you go mum i've got loads of tea towels now you can't make fun of me for it and i also picked up another candle uh, I really liked the distressed glass of this. This was $14.99, which is one of the most expensive things that I've probably bought, other than some of the reindeer behind. And this is silver spruce, and I don't usually like fur and tree-themed candles. They're a bit too earthy for me, but I really like this one. Really, really like this. And then, whilst we were in HomeSense Bedford, it came to Ali that he realised that he really liked reindeer. So he wanted us to pick up some reindeer, basically. So we got some gold reindeer. And I don't know where he envisions these going, but they're ours now. So if you want to name them, please pop them in the comments below. We've got two to name. Actually, we've got three to name because, of course, there is... Well, that's actually not a reindeer, that's a horse. But still, you can name these two if you fancy it. So... Um, whoever gets the name, well, I'll let you know in one of my vlogs over Christmas what we end up naming them. But yeah, pop them in the comments below. And these were £14.99 each as well. They came in loads of different colours. They had them in like copper and silver, but we went with gold. So that is HomeSense Bedford, which is probably one of my favourite HomeSense stores ever. Um, so let's head down to HomeSense in Northampton, the final stop on the journey. Right, as you can see, it is now completely dark outside. Ooh, we are on the home stretch, heading to HomeSense Northampton. We have a car full of Christmas, basically. I am covered in glitter from searching through all of the Christmas stuff, but I'm also starting to get quite hungry again. But we've just realized that we've got pasta in the fridge, so we're gonna head to HomeSense, have our final rummage of the day, and then we're gonna stop in at Tesco's and pick up some mulled wine so that when I sort through my decorations later on, I can listen to Christmas songs and have a little sip of something that I love. And it'll be my first mulled wine of the season. Are you excited, babe? Very. I am so happy that you love Christmas as much as I do. The most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> I think I'd be devastated if you didn't love Christmas. I really would. In fact, I don't think I would have married you. You didn't even ask me that. It's because I knew that you loved it. <laughs> Warm laughter and white smiles. So I'm not going to do my little introduction outside. A, because it's freezing and you can see it there behind me. So we've made it to HomeSense Northampton. We're going to go in. I'm actually flagging a little bit now and I'm quite tired. But we can do this. Christmas is coming. Let's go. Ready, babe? Yeah. Let's go. Yes, perfect. <laughs> big rain, big reindeer. It's just what I wanted, and a big teddy. This one's quite nice. Oh look, Bosh! Another beauty. There's a snowman. Wicker snowman. We light up reindeer. I think we do need a light up reindeer throughout the front of the house, if I'm honest. They're quite nice. I like those. Oh, had a fight and lost. That would have been quite cute. I quite like that one. Take 
Take me away Christmas Day Take me away Christmas Day Panatene, the Italians Pardon? Italians do Christmas or yeah, Panatene Panadoni. Oh god, these are kind of these are the ones that crackle and we need a, a trolley. So Lids is thinking about getting a rocking horse for next to the tree. I wanted oh I wanted a reindeer like this. That would look really cute by the tree. Yeah. Actually would yeah. I don't think we'll get it in the car though. We'll yeah, on your lap. Take one for the team. You want it? Yeah. It looks very nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It does look nice. Oh that's cute. Yeah, I really like that. Look at that. That's gangster. It's a nutcracker, right? Don't know, babe. Cheese boards and mulled wine. We've already got cheese knives. Yeah. That looks similar to this. That'd look nice in the middle of the uh, dining room table, no? You think? Yeah. Look at one each. Ribbon on it. What about this one here? Can you take the ribbon off of it? No. Mm. it work? You like that one? Because it's big. <laughs> <laughs> so in Home Sense at Northampton, we got the least amount of stuff, but I felt like we had a good run. We got a lot of festive stuff. I felt like I was finishing off my trees really nicely. So we didn't really buy a lot other than, of course, some more candles. I was so happy when I saw that they had these candles and I got it in hot toddy and autumn. And these are the candles that when you light them, they crackle like an open fire. Now, when we didn't have an open fire, I mean, we've literally had one fire in it, so it's not like we're living the fire life right now. But when we were in our old house, um, we bought a couple of these ages ago, just so that we could hear the crackle, because we really wanted a fire. This little guy, again, feel free to name him. This was Ali's idea. Let's get him in the shot. So, one year I bought my nephew one of those cars, it's like a vintage car and we loved it and we kept it by our Christmas tree and it just looked so nice. So we kind of wanted that vintage toy vibe that we could pop next to one of our trees. So this is a wooden, it's like solid wooden rocking horse with um, iron like rocking bits. So it works and everything, like definitely children could still play on this. It was about £60 from Home Sense, but this is such a nice thing to just kind of pop to the side of your Christmas tree to give it that sort of vintage, toy, rustic feel. And it's all like, it's not perfectly finished or anything, it's still quite a raw bit of wood, but it's just lovely. And then obviously let's take this off its neck because that's not supposed to be on it. I'll try and lift it up. But yeah. So actually, ugh, I think that's quite a good shout by Ali. Um, and then this is a wreath that we got. I know that lots of you are always kind of into my door wreaths, but sometimes mine are a little bit expensive because I do tend to get a bit carried away with them. Um, however, HomeSense had so many festive wreaths that would just look brilliant. So this one is one that I really like. This is like a frosted cherry wreath. And I might actually pop this one up on our gates. I might get another one and put one on either one of our gates just to kind of festive them up a little bit because I am going to be transforming my home into my own little Santa's grotto. Well, I'm not really, but I am going to have some, some festive vibes in this house. We've got our whole family coming over for a dinner at some point, so I want it to be really nice and cosy. But yeah, that's the last thing that I got in my Home Sense tour and I loved it. It was such a great place to go and get really unique and different pieces for my finishing off of my Christmas decorations kind of thing. I'm so happy that I found some slightly better quality tree toppers as well because the tree toppers that I was finding were not that great. So the ones at HomeSense were by far the best. And yeah, just some really unique bits 
and some good candles and I can start wrapping presents and some stuff that I didn't even know I needed like the salmon <laughs> I just kind of got a bit of everything. and I've obviously just loved doing this video so much this was so much fun this is the kind of video that I love making and I'm just so so happy that I had the opportunity to work with HomeSense on this because this is literally my favorite time of year and HomeSense is literally my favorite shop so this was literally my most favorite video I've ever filmed <laughs> Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed it and if you did please do give it a thumbs up I would love to know if you've enjoyed this as much as I have and um, let me know what your favorite item was in the haul don't forget to name the reindeer and this one and yeah hopefully I will see you in well I'll see you on Thursdays no oh the next video after this it's Christmas with the MGs, starting Monday. Oh my goodness, I am so, so excited about this. My version of Vlogmas, and I'm very excited for this. I am gonna be vlogging every day, pretty much, and um, I'm hopefully gonna be taking you on the whole of December with me, which I'm really looking forward to. My videos are ready to go up, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. You know that this is my favorite time of year, and I'm so excited to be sharing it with you again. Obviously last year I was getting married and moving house and it was all a bit hectic. This year, this year I'm so excited. So yeah, anyway, I'll stop rambling now. <laughs> I will see you in my next video, hopefully. And I hope that you'll be tuning in for Christmas with the MGs. See you there. From big to small Warm laughter and white smile my presents stacked in pies Take me away Christmas Day Take me away Christmas Day